that he, he could take the word back to a man that's bedridden and said, Jesus said, you heal. He has such, amen, a confidence in what he heard spoken to him. He didn't even see nobody do it. He received it in himself. And he was so sure in him that he was able to release to somebody else what he had received. Watch this. A lot of us, we hear stuff. And we're excited about it, but we're not sure about it. Wow. We're only excited when we're in an atmosphere, when it's faith-filled. It's easy to have faith when everybody got faith. Wow. But when we get out by ourselves, that's when our struggle comes. Yeah, right. Reality sets in. And you say, well, it's just like Peter on the water. He said, he said Jesus coming on the water. And the Bible said they were afraid. And he looked out and he said, if it be thy father, bid me come unto thee on the water. All the disciples saw it, but Peter jumped the boat and said, bid me come. Jesus gave him one word, come. Peter stepped out the boat, started walking on the wall. Then he began to look at his circumstances around him. He stepped out in great faith. But instantly when a storm came, great faith went to little faith. He said, oh, you're a little faith. Why did you die? And he went from one extreme to the next. He was excited. He did something that no other disciple did. He walked on water. He imitated Jesus. Amen. But the problem was he allowed his surrounding circumstances to take him from great faith to little faith. So we can be people of great faith when things are good. But true people of great faith, no matter the situation or the circumstances, they still believe. Oh, y'all still with me? Watch this. Y'all need to, y'all look like y'all got tired now. Come on. This, this is what I want you to get. They say he had dealt to every man the measure. The measure. Go ahead and write that down and say that's the initial portion. That's the initial portion. When I first joined the Army, before some of y'all were born, 1984, I came in the Army. And they had what they say, gave you an initial issue. They get it to you in basic training. An initial issue, you turn it back in, you go to your next unit, they give you this initial issue, you call it LBE, and then you got your can and all that. When you when you PCS, you never gave it, you never turn that stuff back in. That was your initial issue, that's yours. Everywhere you went, you kept that initial issue. When you went to different duty stations, they gave you a supplemental issue, to add on to that what you needed for that particular area. Come on, come on, come on. You had to maintain your initial issue. You lose your canteen, you can't go get another one. Yes, you got to buy it. Your belt get ragged, your LB, your belt get ragged. You got to buy another. You can't go and get a new one. Say this rag. You can DX it, but you we never could DX our initial issue. We had to replace those. Come on, y'all follow me? Yeah. Like now, some y'all so y'all miss something. Y'all just go there and get y'all new stuff now. Y'all don't even have to shine boots no more. Take the uniform out of the <laughs> Put it on. We couldn't do that. <laughs> We're spitting polish, man. Come on. As a drill sergeant, they made 18 hours, get out of work. Had my sons trying to sign boots with me. They were little bitty boys, spitting on the boots. They had great faith they could get that thing to shine. Come on, son. When they went to sleep, I had, they, they gave my initial portion. When they went to sleep, I had to add to it. Come on, somebody. They gave me their measure. But watch this. That initial portion was only the thing to get you started. God has dealt to every man the initial portion of faith. That measure as salvation is the measure that gets you started. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. Now what you do with it, how you grow. This centurion, evidently there was something in him that caused him to go past that initial point. Now watch this, I'm gonna share something with you because every now and then we're gonna meet some people that talk big, they're not manifesting big, and they have influence over us. But I'm gonna imitate somebody. If I'm going to imitate somebody, there are certain characteristics they must have. If I'm going to imitate you, I can hear what you say, but you got to already have been done doing what you're telling me to do. They got to be some evidence. You got been there, done that, got a t-shirt, amen, you can show me some manifestation because if you're telling me something, but you ain't doing it. Come on, somebody. It's like I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you marital counseling and I'm on my fifth marriage. <laughs> Come on, that means I'm doing something wrong. 
I'm going to give you my viewpoint, amen. I'm, I'm giving you, I didn't add to my initial portion. Somebody gave me something, and then I'm trying to give you something, but it hadn't worked for me yet. Come on. I can hear good stuff. If I can't see, I can manifest it. And for the believer, our faith is in the word of God. Y'all see what I mean? Yes. The Bible says the just should live by faith. Should live by his faith. Now watch this. Last week we told you this. We gave you some definitions of faith, and we're going to share a little bit of those. Number one, we say faith is a practical expression. Of my confidence in God and in his word. A practical expression of my confidence in God and in his word. It is my unquestionable belief in God. It is also my complete, my trust, my confidence, my loyalty to God and his word. Say that again, preacher, what you say? Faith is my practical expression of my confidence in God and in his word. It is also my unquestionable belief and my trust and confidence in God and in his word. It says on the screen, faith is the word of God. Watch this. Faith is the word of God. When we express true biblical faith, it brings the heart and soul into agreement with God's word and produces obedience to God. True biblical faith, it brings our word and our heart into alignment. We become in agreement with God's word, and we begin to produce those things that we keep reading and hearing about. Are y'all still with me today? We say that faith is also our access. Give y'all some good nuggets, man. Faith is our access to the kingdom. Amen. Faith is our access to kingdom production. Faith is our access to the things of God. Y'all still with me? To the promises of God. Now watch this. If y'all don't remember nothing else, write this one down. And don't keep you alone today. Hallelujah. Faith. My faith, my unquestionable belief, my trust, my confidence, my loyalty to God. Faith is my currency. Currency. Y'all know what currency is. Yes, sir. Yeah. Currency is money, 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 money. Faith is my currency into the kingdom benefits. It pays away for me. Somebody say for me, for me, for me. So if I don't have faith, I can't get nothing from you. If it is my access and my currency, and I don't have it, Hebrews 11 and 6 says what? Without faith. So I got to be doing some things, not just hearing and, and, and saying stuff. I got to be acting on something. Faith without works is what? Yeah. Talk to me in your life. So I can't be saying I believe and not doing it. I can't be keep talking about it. I got to be about it. And they ain't going to keep watching you and you telling me what you can do in faith and I'll never see no manifestation. You just like a loud wagon going down the sidewalk, big old red wagon, hitting those breath, bing 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 bing, making all this noise, but there's nothing inside. Empty. Y'all be real. Y'all be real with yourself. A lot of us we've been influenced by empty people. I'm preaching real good now. We we've been following empty people. We influenced by empty. We influenced by the flash. What it look like. Somebody asked me yesterday, because I had on a purple clergy call, I said, oh, you shifted over to bishop? I said, why are you say that? Yeah, I shifted to bishop. So I started messing with some of the sons. I said, well, I guess if I wore a black one, they said I was a pastor. They said I got demoted then, because I'm an apostle to a bishop to a pastor. Why we just can't all be, why can't wear whatever, whatever color I want to wear? Come on. When I was in the Pentecostal organization, we wore blue. The elders wore blue. We went so well, they looked at us like we was fun. Where y'all get blue from? Where y'all order that? So I said, guess what? If I just came in and wore white, they think I was a sterile preacher. I don't know. <laughs> but because of what people have seen, they're influenced by what they see. And so no matter what they hear, it's what they we believe what they perceive to be is what they gravitate to. So when people don't believe they can succeed, no matter how much you tell them, they will never succeed. As long as it's in that spirit that they're going to fail, they will always fail. You can get them everything they need to succeed. They have it right there in their hand. And they still fail because they don't believe they can succeed. 
<sighs> this is good, y'all. Says, man, I, <laughs> the Bible says that God has given us all things to enjoy. He, he said he had blessed us richly, amen, in heavenly places with all earthly things. Meaning that God has put everything together. When we got saved, God downloaded everything in you to be all you need to be. But you can't activate it until you allow faith to have a perfect work. To have, like, you got to be patient. Faith and patience working together to have a perfect work. You got to be believe God, but at the same time, you got to be patient and allow it to manifest. Come on, somebody. But some of us, we got faith, but we don't have no patience. I sowed a seed on it. I believe real good. Ain't nothing happened. Now I'm going to do it myself. I'm tired. Y'all know y'all said it before. I'm tired of waiting on God. Some of y'all married Willie when you're supposed to marry Ray. Y'all tired of waiting. <laughs> Glory to God. I just had a thought. I just, I just had a thought. I showed, and y'all excuse me, sisters, but I told my wife, well, we were talking about people when they get married. I said, I said, you know, nowadays you never know what you get. <coughs> oh, we, we sold Harry in. Come on, they sold Harry in. Put on nails. Yes. Yes. Think about, think about oh, padding stuff. Y'all come on now. Yeah. Oh. And you can be you can be seeing something you're like, man, that's just what I've been looking for. And then you get home. <laughs> they go in the room and come out, you be like. Come on. I think we should be in agreement. Okay, we're gonna have a <laughs> one day we just will come just like we are. We're gonna dress up. Plain clothes, no makeup, ain't gonna no long sleeve. Cause I can wear a suit with padded shoulder, they might think I'm muscular, they'll take it off. Come on. Cause we believe we do stuff by what we see. Most stuff we, we make decisions. Not in faith. We basically go how what we see. Out of our emotions. Out of our soulish realm. The scripture says, I wish above all that you may prosper and be in health, even as I. What is my soul? The thing more connected to this. My thinker, my filler, my chooser. So how am I going to prosper as my soul prosper? i got to bring this flesh under subjection to the word of God. So every decision I make ain't made based upon how I feel. What if that was true? If I delight myself in the Lord, he's going to give me the desires of my heart. That scripture is true. But when I delight myself in him, he brings this thing here to obedience. My flesh start acting like the word of God. It lines up. So my heart and my mouth come in alignment with the word. Then I come in obedience to the word. I can ask for anything. Yes. Why? The Bible says, what's over things I desire? When I pray. Talk to me. When I what? Pray. Then it say believe. But my belief is in faith. And when I'm waiting, I can't get tired of waiting. Y'all hear me? How do you get faith? Preach, faith. How do I get faith? Preach. Faith come by yeah. and hearing by the word. I need that word in there because yes. faith is yes. the word of God. Amen. So when I get challenged, I can produce some word. When I get tired of waiting and I'm going through, I got to go. And say, if I don't put nothing in there, when I get tired of waiting, I'm going back to my instinct. And don't mess around and be one of those smart people. Come on, you like to work in your wheel instead of his wheel. Oh, I almost got some of that in us. From the pulpit to the door. I, it ain't working, I'll fix it. Let me help God a little bit. I know I help God a couple times. I help God a couple of times in this life. To tell y'all, I don't help God this year do some stuff. And I had to go back and let God fix it. When I help God... So I start moving in emotion.